got a lot of talent there on your unit. Uh, talk about the depth you've got, and, and have you ever had more? Uh, you know, each group's different. I don't know if I ever had more. I'm very proud of our depth, uh, the different guys that are stepping up. And the thing I'm probably most hard of is just how hard guys are playing. Um, we always talk about, hey, play hard and good things will happen. And number one goal is win, you know, and, and we've been doing that. And then the second goal is, you know, just be, be the best person you can possibly be on a daily basis, and, and they're doing that. And it shows on Saturdays. The way they're, the reason guys are having success on Saturdays is because of practice habits. It's not a complicated process. It's got, our guys are practicing very hard at a high level, and it carries over to Saturdays. One of the guys that was practicing really well, you were saying, was Darren Carrington, you know, and he wasn't able to play earlier in the season. Now that he is, he's kind of not missed a beat. Talk about that guy's practice habits and why that's working for him. Sure, him. yeah, yeah, he defines that. You know, he, he comes out every day with the purpose to get better and focuses on that individual rep. And uh, he, he loves to compete and he loves to play full speed. And when, when you can truly do that, that's easier said than done, but when you can truly do that in a game, it's easy. And we try to make our practices harder than games. And if you, if you ask our players, they would say they are. How do you slip Charles Wilson in there? I mean, you don't have him all the time. Do you have him all the time to practice? And what does he bring you? Sure. No, he's primarily a defensive player, but he's got a great offensive foundation because we had him as offense all through camp and all last year. So he's got a good – things come natural to him. And then what I'll do is, you know, we'll do some individual meetings and kind of walk in. We kind of pick – pick and choose our spots when to put him in. But the thing about him is he can do a lot of things. It's not, he can block. We don't necessarily just put him in to get him the ball. We put him in maybe to block for somebody else that has the ball. You know, and, and uh, he does a great job of that. Dwayne Stanford uh, had a fantastic catch. <laughs> Did you guys get to see that on film Sunday? And what was the reaction from the other wide receiver group when they got to see him snag that thing? Sure. Well, it's funny. It, it was a great catch, but he does that every day. He does that in practice, so it wasn't a big surprise. If you give him a chance to catch the ball, I mean, he's going to make a play. And, and you know, DC is the same way, Devin. Um, you see that in practice all the time. I think it might surprise fans because they don't, wow, that was something. But we, we, you see that every day in practice. And if it happens in practice, it happens in games. Oregon State sort of going through the, the same thing that you guys experienced earlier in the year in that rotation at quarterback and unsure who it's going to be sort of week to week. What is that like from the standpoint of being the coach and the standpoint of the receivers, the players that uh, trying to find a rhythm, a flow? Sure. Well, at the end of the day, and this is what we tell our guys, no matter what the situation, do your job, control your job. And if we can start worrying about other things like that and it, it, it takes away from your focus and doing your job, then everything falls apart. And that, so regardless, you know, like that deal when we were rotating quarterbacks or when Vernon was unhealthy, um, we had confidence in the guy that came in. And at the end of the day, we're like, hey, just do your job. I'm very proud of my guys because they never, you know, with a different quarterback coming in, our, our guys never complained. They don't, they don't care. They just, they're going to do their job. Whoever's out there is just is out there, you know. And, and I think that's the attitude you got to have across the board at all positions. Asking me, of course, Thanksgiving week traditional questions um a favorite thanksgiving dish and uh what's your most grateful for uh favorite thanksgiving dish i, I like white turkey and that, that's about it the white white meat turkey um i don't eat stuffing i'm not a big sugar guy so I, my parents are coming out so i'm excited they understand that if i go over to people's house i always embarrassed because i just I, I got a lot of food allergies but I, white turkey is all i have and maybe a piece of bread um you know, thankful for and thankful for a lot. I'm thankful to be a part of a great program with great people that I enjoy coming to work every day and you look forward to seeing. And, you know, that's, that's as good as it gets.